Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a L'Oreal try on and review and we're going to see if these products are good and they're drugstore products so they're, they're not high-end products but they're supposed to perform well and some of the products I'm going to be using are also other drugstore products besides this primer I'm going to be putting on my face which I cannot wait to put stuff on my face because I cannot stand my broken out face that I am so trying hard to I need to stop touching my face that's what I need to stop doing but I'm trying so hard to get rid of the breakouts Whew. um anyways I'm going to be put on the no pore Blum primer by touch and soul it's a smooth and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup. I love this primer. It's amazing. It just makes everything... And before I put the primer on, I put um my um like minutes before, which you should do, I put my moisturizer on. I cleansed my face and did my skincare routine and did my moisturizer let that set in and then I put my primer on I even put it by my eyes sometimes and it just makes the makeup go on so much more smoother and more flawless and it makes the makeup last longer so primer is amazing before you do your makeup so I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Paris infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation in the number 420 I'm gonna shake her up and I dampened my beauty blender it's clean it's just it's a little stained I need to really deep clean it I'm going to put about two pumps and I'm just going to dab it on there with the beauty blender. We're going to look crazy. So then I'm going to go into the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear More Than a Concealer. And I'm going to conceal the areas that I want to conceal. <laughs> and just basically make a triangle get a little bit of my chin I actually want to get a little bit by where I'm broken out at and then I like to because I like to cover the redness in my eyelids. I like to also do my whole entire eye. We're looking crazy. Oh, isn't it funny how crazy you look when you're putting makeup on? And then I want to highlight my nose. my forehead a little bit and my cupid's bow and I like to go by my nose because I get red just everywhere it's so annoying okay so now that we look super crazy <laughs> We're going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. We're just going to blend, blend, blend. 
wind up our forehead. You just blend all over your face. That's what you do. Okay, and then the powder we're gonna go be going into is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I love this stuff. It's lasted me forever. It's amazing. You can bake with it. You can. Uh, it's what I use to. Um, just uh, take my beauty blender and put it under my eyes so that I don't mess up my face makeup when I'm doing my eye makeup. This stuff is amazing. I love the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm gonna just dab some to set everything that we did with the foundation and concealer. Now that I'm still white like a ghost, I'm going to go into brows so that we have some life. And I'm going to go into the L'Oreal Paris in Light Brunette Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil. And we're going to do my brows. I'm going to take the spoolie. And just comb them. What I have in place. Oh, we comb that in place. I'm going to shape out the shape of my brow. Define the arch a little bit and just go in lightly because it is very pigmented. And then with a flat brush, I'm going to go in with that same concealer that we used on the back of my hand. And I'm going to just carve out this brow. And this just makes your eyebrows not as harsh looking. and it just sharpens it up. It just makes it look so much better. You just wanna blend that in. Now I'm gonna go into the gorgeous Morphe 39 as Gem Artistry Palette. And I'm going to do a super quick look. I'm gonna go in with Pink Prize. And 
and I'm going to of course blend in my crease in my outer third lid it's just a really quick look the pink is so pretty perfection by my brow bone I love the perfection. It is so gorgeous. <clears throat> Little inner corner highlight. And then I'm going to go in with Here For It. Wait, is that what I went to on my birthday? No, I did not. I went into Oh Yes. So we're going to go into Oh Yes. Oh Yes. Pop it on my finger. Just pop that all over the lid. Love that. Super pinky. It's technically Wednesday while I'm filming this. So on Wednesdays we wear pink. <laughs> Okay, so there's the quick eye look. Boom, done. Going to, I'm a, I have to blend all the time. Going to blend out with a clean brush really quick. Okay, boom, done. I'm going to take my eyelash curler, curl my eyelashes. After I feel like I got it all nice and curled where I want it. <clears throat> Before I do my mascara, I like to do my eyeliner. So I want to try the Voluminous L'Oreal Lash Paradise Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm going to do a wing. So that's the wand. Okay. I'm gonna go out slow and steady. Going to line the lash line and carefully start to make my wing. Okay, so what I noticed about this eyeliner is, I don't know if it does it so that it's not too wet and you don't mess up, but it kind of dries very quickly. very quickly so crazy and then I have to do this again because it dries quickly, but it makes a nice line. Give it that. 
and I'm gonna connect it. And then, probably gonna have to go back in, but I'm gonna color it in. And then after that, I like to go in, I'm gonna go in, um, I like to do my mascara right after I do my eyeliner. And then it pulls it, it pulls in the whole look together, the eyeliner. Okay, I'm starting to really like the brow definer. And it goes well with my blonde brows. So that makes me happy. And this was in Light Brunette. The L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Okay. So I'm going to go in with the Lash Primer first. The L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Base is what they call it. I'm going to... This is what I do with mascara. Or, so that you don't get way too much. I kind of like take off a good amount of product. So that it doesn't get clumpy. I like the big boom in your lashes, but you know, you don't want it clumpy quick. You want to be able to build. So, okay, here goes. And we also want to try not to mess up our eyeliner at the same time. I just go from my root to the tips and let it coat the lash. Now that we look like an ice queen, I want to go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara in Waterproof. It says Hydro Fudge. And this is in Blackest Black. And that's what the primer looks like too. Did I even show you guys the eyeliner? I think I did. Sorry if I didn't. This is the eyeliner. My bad. Um, this is what the base looks like. It'll tell you it's the base. And that's what differs from the... Oh, there's also... It's pink and then it's like a light pink to show that that's the base and the mascara is pink and with a gold rim around it and it, it says right there voluminous lash paradise and then it'll tell you waterproof or not so I'm kind of let that dry the primer and then again I take off a good amount because you don't want to start off clumpy and then your lashes look not cute right yeah that, that was a good amount of product I took off okay so we want to go from the base to the root the tips and just coat the lashes got my bottom lashes and then I just kind of like take the excess off with my finger. I'm going to let that first coat dry a little bit before I try to put another 
coat on. Okay, so then I want to go in with my second coat. the difference. I want to go from the base all the way to the tips. And then I kind of like fan them out towards the corners, the outer corners. And then I like to go in and I like to wiggle my wand from the base to the tip. Not with any extra product, I just get in those every single lash. It's such a huge difference. Just trying to show you guys what I do. So yeah, um, I'm going to do the rest of my face. <laughs> I'm going to do the rest of my face makeup and then we will be done with this look. Okay guys, this is the final look. I feel like the primer made my lashes a little bit, like they're not super clumpy, they're not bad, like in high school, like I'm planning on doing a video of like the makeup I used to do in high school, which is going to be hilarious for people that knew me. Um, I used to like r really layer my lashes and they were so clumpy you could just really see them. They looked like spider legs, like really bad. But I feel like this primer makes them a little bit clumpy. I wonder like if you just use the mascara, if it would be better, but it's not bad. Like I like how it turned out. I'm a lashes girl. I like wearing eyelashes and I like that it's never clumpy and it just looks gorgeous and finishes off the look so but I really love this mascara it's it's really nice like it as you could see like my lashes before mascara were like super blonde you couldn't see them so there it's nice um I love this foundation and um concealer I love it. My face is all broken out and it covered it up. I mean, you're not going to cover texture. It's, I, I need to find a product out there that does that. It's probably very expensive, but I love how it looks and, um, I love how the liner looks, but I think it's so weird that it, as you apply it, it starts to dry so fast that you have to get back into it and get back more product in there. So I'm going to keep trying it because I'm going to keep using it. I paid for it. So, um, yeah, like it created a really nice wing, but 
and it has pigment so that I like it's just the whole drying so fast but maybe drying is nice so that if it was wet it wouldn't smear easily but it dried so fast you had to keep on going back into it and shaking it up and of course I love this finishing powder Maybelline fit me mine is in 10 fair light cuz I'm white like a ghost oh and I absolutely love my favorite eyebrow stuff is obviously the iconic London brow cushion because that has been helping my eyebrows grow but I am blonde and my eyebrows are sparse and I don't want harsh eyebrows so I don't want to be having dark really dark brown eyebrows or black eyebrows so this was really nice actually the brow stylist definer pencil by L'Oreal Paris like it was pretty nice for an eyebrow pencil I like my eyebrow cushion because I feel like it just looks way more natural but this doesn't look bad at all so and then I did a quick look with the 39s gem artistry palette but all in all I like how this look turned out using the products um, it was very different um, me not putting on lashes so but all in all like it gave me it gave me some lashes like so if you guys liked any of these products um, I'd say that they're pretty good like especially the foundation and concealer and the brows um, the brow definer I like that um, I do like the eyeliner and I do like the ma mascara I just like a drier formula so I need to work with it and I feel like the primer um, just made my lashes a little little clumpy but it's not bad I don't hate it I'm not mad at it I'm not mad at this look um, but if you guys are interested in any of the products that I have mentioned, you can go to Walmart and go get it at Walmart. That's where I got everything. Or you can go to any drugstore and find, find the products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tutorial today. And you guys have a wonderful day. And if you have any comments for me, comment down below. And if you haven't yet, like and subscribe and I love you guys see you guys in my next video bye